about that that we see, are seeing now from truck drivers, New York, New York City, and that verdict? Is this just a, a one-off, or is this a sign of what's potentially to come down the line here? Well, certainly we've seen this in other uh, Western uh, democracies. We've seen it in Canada. We've seen it in France. We've seen it in Germany, uh, where you have working class people uh, stage what they consider to be a revolt against the elites, and truck drivers are well-connected and all of that stuff. Uh, I don't know the way out, though, because if you if they could raise prices, which they could, right, other truckers would come in to fill that space, obviously, exactly. because markets being what markets are, railroads and other trucking companies would say, we're, we're here for you. If they could get prices up, I don't know what, I don't know so, how they get out of this. So here's, here's what Kevin O'Leary, who's, you know, Shark Tank fame, here's what he said earlier today. He says, it doesn't matter what the governor says, New York was already a loser state, like California's a loser state. <laughs> there are many loser states because of policy, high taxes, uncompetitive uh, regulation, and it was already on the top of the list of being a loser state. I would never invest in New York now, and I'm not the only person saying that, Bill McGinley, to bring it beyond just truck drivers, potentially. Yeah, this is not a one-off. This is now legal precedent. I mean, you know, Letitia James and the AG's office and this judge have now set precedent that is probably disturbing a lot of the New York real estate developers because they're wondering, That's do we Kevin need O'Leary to go said. back over this? Right? Because at the end of the day, there were no victims. They had sophisticated banks who did their own due diligence on the claims of property value. He repaid it in full plus interest. There's nobody who was a victim here. And so now you have all these real estate developers who are looking at this and wondering if a Republican attorney general comes in, which is not going to happen anytime soon in New York, but maybe a Republican DA hmm. someplace where they develop, are they now going to be vulnerable because of this precedent? Yeah, but this is, this is, this is an outlier. Uh, Trump engaged in massive of fraud over several years. So I don't I think it's an one, it's an outlier, but two, it's gonna make real estate developers clean up their books if they need to be cleaned up. Uh, but more importantly, I don't think uh, the as a former president of the DC Chamber of Commerce, uh, DC, New York, and California are tough for businesses because of taxes and regulations, but those are mutually exclusive issues. Trump was an outlier and extraordinarily committed fraud, and we need to keep it the way and look at it the way it should be looked at. This is trending on social media. Mm -hmm. uh, truckers is? for Trump. Yeah, Girl. yeah. Well, and just go back up of what Chris said. I mean, this is Trump's base, the working right. class base. Um, and look, buckle up 2024. Yeah. I mean, this is the first major legal de decision we've, we've seen out of Trump's legal issues. You well, know, let's see what happens next. That's what I was wondering. Like, if there's a, a verdict in yeah. Georgia that a goes against them now case. all of a sudden? Yeah. Are, are, are there going to be boycotts of, of the state of Georgia? I don't but, know. But the I'm truckers sure. lose money, too, and lose business, too, if they stage this boycott. There'll be other truckers, as Chris said, that will fill that gap. It's not like this is some unionized effort I'm, I'm going to disagree so with that real quick. That's real quick. Yep. The trucking industry actually has been suffering from a shortage of drivers. Yep. And so if 10% say they're not delivering to New York City, there is not the labor force bandwidth okay. to pick up that 10%. So it's let, a let's, real let, let's, let's dive in, into, the, into that for a second. Joining us now is Craig Fuller, the founder and CEO of Freight Waves. That is a data reporting agency focusing on global freight. Craig, thanks for being with us here on the Hill. First time, I believe. So uh, you got these some of these truckers saying, you know what? We're, we're not going into New York because of what happened to Donald Trump. If I'm just anybody living in New York and I see, see that headline and you hear what that, that woman said off the top of the show, uh, should they be concerned? No, not at all. I, you know, Freeway has been around since 2017. We've covered dozens of quote unquote boycotts and protests among truck drivers. They never amount to anything, especially not now. Um, you, the previous, uh, the, one of the folks on the panel mentioned that there is a truck driver shortage. Uh, that has been debunked on multiple occasions. Uh, the fact is that the trucking industry has too much capacity, and uh, the industry is really struggling from a significant downturn, and we're not going to see truck drivers give up the opportunity to make money simply because of some uh, political stance that they want to take. This but is but in theory, more couldn't, than social media news. In theory, couldn't independent owner operators stop what they're doing, right? Like, if you're working for a, a company and they say drive that truck to New York, you're driving that truck to New York or you're getting fired, I presume, or suspended or, or whatever. But if you own your own truck and you say, you know what, I don't like what happened to Donald Trump, I'm, I'm not going into your, to New York, in theory, I guess that could happen, right? In theory, it could happen, but we've also looked at multiple uh, of these boycotts and protests, and in theory, 
they sound great on paper. You know, not okay. less than two weeks ago, we heard that there were going to be 700,000 truck drivers in southern Texas protesting uh, the border crisis that's down there. It simply is not going to happen. There is going to be very little impact to freight flows. Thank you for watching and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.